everyone, I'm Brittany and this is Lauren. Welcome back to our kitchen. Today we have a lightened up version of a southern classic. Yes, I'm really excited about this recipe, Brittany, because it uses one of my favorite new fish. We're using catfish today. Yes, yeah, so we're making a spicy oven fried catfish. So to get started, we have these fresh catfish fillets directly from our meat department. So they come just looking like this. There's no skin or anything. And we want to cut them into strips. So that's just what I'm going to do now. It's just as easy as taking your knife and making them as thin as you need. I'm actually going to cut this one in half so it's a little bit easier to use as a finger food. And we're using catfish today because we wanted to feature something a little bit different that maybe not everybody thinks about using. Right. I think we always sometimes get into a rut of, you know, salmon and shrimp and some of those very common fish and seafood options. Um, but our meat department has a wide variety of fresh fish and seafood, and catfish is just one of those great options. Right. And it's great, too, because it has a bit of a bolder flavor, so it can stand up to the spicy breading we're using today. So speaking of that breading, we're actually going to get started on making that. So um, for the coating, we're using cornmeal. So this is just cornmeal we found in our natural and organic departments. And to that, we're going to add some paprika, some cayenne pepper. So you could definitely leave out the cayenne if you want it um, to be not so spicy. Lemon pepper and regular black pepper, some salt and some flour. So you could use gluten-free flour here too to make this recipe gluten-free because cornmeal actually is gluten-free naturally. And it's a whole grain. So we're really trying to trade up a traditional fish fry by number one, baking it. Yes. And number two, using a whole grain breading. Right. All so right. while Brittany is doing that, I'm going to mix together um, our egg mixture. So we've got two eggs and then a little bit of hot sauce. Just make it a little spicy, and then we're just going to whisk these two together. And we're using Louisiana hot sauce, which is, again, more of those southern flavors going in. And that's one of your pantry staples, yeah, isn't it, Yeah, one of my pantry Use that staples. a lot. I use this on everything. Okay. So we're going to start off by putting our catfish strips into the cornmeal breading. And this is a really fun recipe, too, to get the kids involved because you can get a little messy, and that's kind of fun. So we put it in the cornmeal breading, get both sides coated, and then we put it in the egg mixture, get it nice and coated, and then back in the cornmeal breading one more time. Grab this for And you. then to, onto our baking sheet. So we've just lined our baking sheet with parchment paper, and we've sprayed it with some nonstick spray. I also want to note, too, that with the catfish, um, we patted it dry um, after we bought yes. it and took it out of the packaging. Um, that al also helps make it a little bit stickier as far as the breading sticking really nicely to the fish. Yes. All right. I'm really excited, too, about um, the catfish just because, like you had mentioned, it does have a little bit more um, of a bolder flavor, yes. but it's not overly fishy. So it's definitely not something to be you know, worried about if you're going to like it or not. Um, it has a really nice, very subtle flavor. Yes, absolutely. Okay, so I'm going to leave it at this amount for now. If you want to spray them, again, with the nonstick spray, I'm going to wash my hands. So I'm just going to spray the topsies. This is just so that the fish browns a little bit. Yes, it gets nice and crispy. And then I'm going to pop this in the oven. So this goes in the oven at 425 for 25 to 30 minutes or until the, the fish is golden brown and is cooked through. Get some of this out of the way. All right, so this is some we've made earlier. It looks beautiful, nice and golden brown. Ready to give it a try? Yeah. I'm actually gonna try mine with a little bit of okay. this Louisiana hot sauce. So you could definitely serve this with uh, fries, as like a typical fish and chips. We have a recipe mm. on our blog for quick and easy collard greens if you want some more of that southern flair. What are you thinking? It's good. It's a little bit spicy, but definitely not too much. I think I'm not a mm. huge spicy person, and it, it's really a nice flavor, not too spicy. I love this crunchy breading, too. That really makes it. It's really wholesome. I love yes. it. Well, we hope you get a chance to give this southern-inspired recipe a try. And for more recipes and resources from your mealtime mentors, visit bestfoods.com.